Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to actually cover what is a sort of hidden feature of WordPress, um, one which you probably aren't even aware of, called galleries. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload a gallery of images to our page. Here we have a page called gallery. And like I said, this is a sort of a undocumented feature of WordPress. Not a lot of attention is called to it and I think that in future versions of WordPress it's going to be a little bit more powerful and a little bit more obvious to use and easy to use. But for now it is still a pretty neat thing to do and I'm going to show you how to upload a gallery of images. We start by putting our cursor where we want our gallery to appear. and We click on the usual add media or add image icon and this is a very familiar panel if you've added images to your pages or posts in WordPress. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload from our computer, although you could choose images that are already in your media library, or also images from URLs. Um, we're going to go ahead and upload it from the computer because this will actually kill two birds with one stone. What it will do is actually upload all of these images to our media library at the same time. So we're going to upload 12 images and also create a gallery. So two steps, real easy. So obviously we've clicked on the select files icon and here instead of just picking one image we're actually going to highlight all of the images and click open. And Now we can see our bulk uploader is very quickly going through all of these and uploading them one at a time, showing us a thumbnail once it's complete. And you could actually edit the information directly in here for each item. So we could add our alternate text or caption or description. We also have the alignments and the sizes that you're used to seeing. However, this is an image gallery, so we're not going to use those settings right now. Just want to show you that they're there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Save All Changes. And now we see suddenly a Gallery Settings option has loaded down below. So basically what we've done by uploading all of these images together is we've told WordPress that we want these images to all be grouped as a gallery. And that is exactly what WordPress has done. So it's grouped all of these images in a gallery and it's now giving us some settings on how to control the look of our gallery basically. And we have options to link the thumbnails because it'll create automatic thumbnails that when we click on that thumbnail it'll go to the image or to the attachment page. Um, we'll get into attachment pages on another video but for now we're going to leave it set to image file. Also we can order the images so that we can set what order they appear in. Uh, I like title since all of our titles are numbered 1 through 12. Also you can set it to ascending or descending. Ascending is the default. And even the number of columns in your gallery. Now this is going to use thumbnails to create a grid of images and you can choose the number of columns. Uh, the default of 3 happens to work very well so I'm just going to keep the default. And let's go ahead and insert that gallery. Now the preview area of the text editor in WordPress is a little odd when you have this gallery here. It's just a blue box with an icon. You can't really see the images that are in it. Once you've created this gallery, you can actually edit it by clicking on the usual edit button. So you can still go back and add captions and titles if you want, as well as change the order in the gallery columns, a few other things as well. But oddly enough, now that you've created this gallery of 12 images, you can't add any more images to it. So this is kind of like a little sealed wrapper, which is why we don't see previews in here. However, if we save the page and then go ahead and view that page, we can now see that we have, with very little work at all, a gallery of 12 cupcake images. And when you click on these images, they then take you to a larger version of that image. 
and just clicking on the back button of your browser will take you back to the gallery view. Sometimes you have to click them to make them a little larger. Now, like I said, this isn't perfect. Uh, I think that in future versions of WordPress, this is going to get a lot more powerful, but for now, it's still pretty darn good. And also, if you add a Lightbox plugin with this, which I've done on this gallery page right here, then you can actually add even more power. So the Lightbox plugin will actually grab the full size image and just overlay it on top of your current page. And it will also give you arrows that'll let you browse through and click to the next image. So just with two things, a hidden feature built into WordPress on how to add your own galleries, as well as a little plugin for Lightbox, we've done a pretty good job here of creating a very nice gallery. And just to show you, so there's no doubt, let's take a look at the library. And we can see that, yes, indeed, all of the images we uploaded into this gallery have been added to our media library as well. So we've killed two birds with one stone. We've uploaded 12 images, put them in our media library, and we've created a gallery page so people can look at these images easily. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.